when you're walking around the department and you talk to your colleagues about computers, how are you differentiating between this all-encompassing, almost everything's a computer, and that thing sitting on your desk behind you with a keyboard and that? So we hardly ever talk about computers, right? So, because what we talk about is the things computers do and how computers would do them. So, so you know, and we will often talk about computing, not the means through which it's computed, okay? So for us, we are a bit more abstract than that. We actually think a bit more about information and data and how it's computed upon and how it's transformed, how that's then realized into particular systems and devices becomes a second kind of discussion. But surely when your son says to you, oh, Dad, can I have a computer for Christmas? You don't say, oh, well, you've already got one in your library card. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that as a course of action for any parent. We think of these as kind of invisible computers um, and the computers that are invisible in our everyday actions. Uh, obviously, the everyday uses of computers, people will pull out and show laptops. They'll show maybe iPads. They'll maybe show, show phones, um, and that everyday use of computers is, is, is obviously one that most people are, think of when you refer to a computer. I've heard you use this, how many computers did you see yeah. today question before. I know it's quite a favourite yeah. conversation starter yeah. of yours. Bearing that in mind, I find it hard to believe you've never done the thought experiment or tried to, or had some, have someone try to carry out some research into how many computers did you see today? Have you never done it? Mm, I've never found... I've asked, I've asked students to actually try and calculate that and what's really interesting about this is, is um, you get results and you get results that vary from the hundreds to the thousands but what you end up with is actually a debate as to does that count? And what counts as a computer? So, is passing a camera seeing a computer? Where is the computer in that? Is it in the camera or is it in the place where it's processed? So you, you end up with very kind of detailed kind of categorizational debates and these things. And actually the point isn't the answer to the question, it's how complex it is to get the answer to the question.